Alexis. I'm Megan. And I'm Ashlyn. And today is Monday, October 26, 2015. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for this week is about doing good deeds. If you notice something that needs to be done, take the initiative to do it. Pick up papers from the floor, pass out books, get someone a napkin or something to drink, dry the dishes, turn down the music if someone is on the phone. These are simple acts of kindness that will be appreciated by others. I think parents teach their kids like how to take initiative for stuff because if, like at my house, if you leave anything on the floor and you just walk by and my parents see that, they're like, well, you just saw that on the floor, you should pick it up. You should take the response, and then you're like, oh, but I didn't leave it there. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's on the floor. You know it's not supposed to be. You should, like, do it anyway. And that's what I think, like, goes to school, too. If, like, somebody's having trouble, and if they're not your partner, and you see them struggling, you should go and help them take the initiative to do it so that they wouldn't be left behind or that they would, like, feel better about what they're learning or, um... If you, if nobody else wants to like talk and like you're kind of shy, you should take the initiative to like speak out, say what's on your mind, even if you're afraid that people would um, like say something bad about your, about it, just to, just to, like get your point across. I would say. For lunch today, our menu will be chicken sandwich or fish sandwich, fried salad, peaches, or a grab and go meal. Today marks the beginning of Red Ribbon Week. Some reminders, on Thursday we will all wear red to celebrate being drug free. Friday we'll dress in costumes to show that drugs are scary. Sales of the WCHS yearbook continue. Bring your order form and payment of $50 to your homeroom teacher by this Friday to get your early bird discount. The Boom and Boyle Science Show will be on Friday. Although there is no admission cost, we will continue taking donations in every classroom. Keep adding cash for the teacher or teachers you'd like to see slant. The teacher in each grade who ends up with the most cash will be in will be the lucky ones chosen. And if we raise at least eight hundred dollars school wide, Coach Goodwin will be slant as well. Picture money is due today. Students may return their packets and payment to their homeroom teacher. The WCHS baseball program has an extensive list of pirate clothing items for sale, including caps, visors, shirts hoodies, jackets, and more. Orders for these items should be turned in by November 2nd. Coach Smith also requests that all 7th and 8th grade boys who are trying out for baseball give him their hat size as soon as possible. The softball team is also taking orders for pirate clothing. These orders are due November 2nd as well. Extra forms are available in the office. The Crow's Nest wishes a very happy birthday today to Michael Dubilak and Miranda Gonzalez. Have a great day. That's the view from the Crow's Nest. Make it a great week and stay on fleek.